So I filmed one of these about two years ago and actually one of them is still my top faves. So I'm gonna push that one out of the way and it's the obvious. It is, of course, Revlon Color Stays. I have the one for oily combination skin. They also have one specifically for dry skin. And I love this for so many reasons. Number one, it has full coverage. Two, it is perfect for my oily combo skin. And I get really shiny around my T-zone. And this helps control this. And it lasts all day. Like, I'm not kidding you. This is probably one of the longest lasting foundations that I own. Did they claim to be 20? Yeah, they claim to be 24 hours, which is insane. Um, and also, it's just my go-to foundation. When I know I'm gonna be in a hot tropical area, I'm gonna bring this and only this. They have a huge color variety at the drugstore, so it's almost guaranteed you would find your shade. And also, just lately, it took them like 10 years, they're coming out with pumps. There's already a few shades that have pumps, um, but I think slowly but surely, all of them will have pumps so thank you Revlon I'm sure everybody has been asking for that definite go-to if you have oily combo skin so next is one that I've tried um, recently I don't want to say within the past six months and this is Maybelline Superstay better skin foundation one of its claims is that it's supposed to help treat acne prone skin and I personally am not sure about that because I don't use it every day I don't have acne prone skin but the finish and the coverage and the way this sets, this sets almost instantly. It makes your skin look flawless and it has great coverage. Oh, I think this one was only like $10 at the drugstore. So it is very, very reasonably priced. And my last current drugstore favorite is Physician Formulas. This is from their Touch of Glow collection. So this is also a perfect everyday foundation for me. One, because it is really easy to apply it's super lightweight it sets almost instantly and it's like like your skin looks like silk and also it gives me that like awake and vibrant look there are two things I don't like about it number one it has a very strong fragrance I don't like it smells like glue or something it has some kind of weird fragrance. Also, just physicians formula in general, they just don't have a wide variety of shades. There are only two shades in this collection. Um, and I think in, in most of their foundations, there's only two or three shades. So that is really unfortunate. But if you're fair enough, then um, I do recommend it. So that's it for my top favorite foundations. If you want an in-depth review of the foundations mentioned, I'll list them down below. I don't think I did a review on this, but um, they have another one very, very similar called Spotless Foundation and it's like I wouldn't be surprised if it's almost the same product. So I'll list that review in the bottom. That one came out several years ago. Thumbs up if you found this review helpful and also let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these videos. I do plan on doing a higher end foundations that I got at Sephora. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. And check out my other channels. It's Judy's Life where I vlog every day with my family and it's Mommy's Life where I talk about mommy related things. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.